All right. Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to another episode of Workforce Wednesday and happy St. Patrick's Day to everybody as well. My name is Bree and I'm from the Greater Scranton Chamber of Commerce. Today I am so lucky and happy to be here with Clarence from Net Credit Union. Clarence, how are you doing today? Uh, it's always a great day here at Net Credit Union. I'm doing awesome. How are you doing today, Bree? Oh, I'm doing so, so well. Thanks for asking. So I just, tell us a little bit about Net Credit Union. You've been here in the area. Um, your building's right across from our building, Friendly Neighbors. Um, tell us a little bit more about it. Sure, Net Credit Union is a not-for-profit financial institution. It's a cooperative where we allow members to uh, do their banking. Um, we've been here for about, uh, actually, we've been here for almost 80 years. This November is our 80th anniversary of Net Credit Union being in Scranton. Um, we partner with businesses, associations, and groups to allow their employees or their members of their association have access to the credit union. Um, we advertise it as like a free benefit for the business um, so that when a business uh, offers their uh, incentive plans to their employees, they can say, you know, you get a 401k, you get retirement. And when you work here, you can join our credit union, Net Credit Union. Uh, we have about 550 businesses or organizations like church groups, uh, PTAs, uh, Boy Scout uh, uh, groups, uh, youth uh, athletic programs, you name it. There's so many different associations that we have in businesses uh, that we extend the uh, the opportunity for them to offer credit union membership uh, to their uh, the people who join that. Um, this is a place where people do their banking. We don't say come here and do your credit unioning. You know, you come here to do your banking. We have you know a full suite of consumer products from first mortgages, second mortgages, car loans, motorcycle loans, boat loans, RVs, credit cards, you name it. We got the full product. And of course we got checking and savings and money markets and all that. Uh, we've been consistently growing in the area since, uh, well, really since 2013 is when we really saw some a great growth come into the credit union. And uh, you know, we're, we're ranked uh, well above our peers uh, in, in the area and, and across the country. So I feel very fortunate to work here for uh, Net Credit Union. Fantastic. So I know that NET is very involved in the community um, in terms of volunteering and giving back. So tell us a little bit more about that and how that ties into your company culture. Wow. Yeah. Over the last, especially over last year, we, we definitely handed out, um, uh, get, uh, doled out a lot of donations to um, community groups. And I can't list them all because usually every month we have a ph philanthropy committee that gets together and fields the donation requests from things like the uh, Oliphant Host Company Number no. Four Trunk or Treat, to you know helping friends of the poor with uh, food donations and everything in between. United Way, Ronald McDonald House, American Red Cross. Um, so we have a group of uh, employees who live in the community who look at the items and um, decide you know where we where we divide the money that we set aside for donations to go to. Why do we do it? Well, first of all, it's the right thing to do, all right? There are a lot of organizations out there that, that um, cannot survive without donors uh, providing them with the funds that they need to operate. And there's so many worthwhile organizations, you know, whether it's from um, the American uh, Heart Association to, uh, you know, uh, groups that come up um, like Miracles for Matthew, a young man who's fighting cancer, you know, will help sponsor a 4K or, um, you know, some kind of run. Um, and it's just, a, it's a great feeling. Um, I love it too, because some of these events, I, I can get Prospector from Rock 107 to come over and uh, do do the MC work. So, and he, he loves doing that as well. Um, we do it all year round, not just around the holidays when, when you know, there becomes a focus on donations, um, but uh, all year round helps us, you know, um, take care of those, those people who actually utilize our services, you know, and it helps us further or deepen our relationship with being coming part of the community. Um, so uh, it's rewarding. It's fun to do. And uh, we also do volunteer work, whether it's cleanup work um, or volunteering at food kitchens uh, or the pantry. Um, and our employees love it because if they're doing it on their work day, we'll pay them for doing it, of course, you know, like go, go to the soup kitchen and serve and, you know, we'll count it as a work day because again, it's just a worthwhile venture to do and uh, it is the right thing to do. 
Wow, that is such a unique um, opportunity to be able to know that if I'm an employee of Net Credit Union, the company that I work for is going to support me in giving back to the community in the ways that are important to me. Yeah, uh, you know, life is a circle, right? Um, if you put out positive energy, positive energy comes back to you. I fully believe that. I know I've lived that in my life. You know, and sometimes the rewards of doing that are instant. It's not instant gratification. Sometimes they, they take some time, but you'll get stories of like, hey, you know, that $50 that you gave to our organization really helped us, you know, buy, you know, 10 books for, you know, uh, underprivileged children or uh, the Eagle Scout who comes in and says, look, I need $500 uh, to create um, some, you know, a bench, a nice bench for uh, veterans at, at a local uh um, cemetery, um, you know, he comes back a couple of years later, you know, graduated from college and, and it's like, you know what, that really helped change my life. Here's what I've done. I've, I've gone on to do this and this and so many people like it. And those are the stories that are neat. You know, I used to coach uh, kids and now I see them returning as adults with the good energy I put out there. And they're like, Hey, Mr. Bolter, they're always like so much bigger than me now. Like, Hey, Mr. Bolter Cyrus, I'm glad you were harder on me when I did that. It's just like, yeah, I might've taken 12 years to see the result of that, but um, it, it's just fun to see what comes back after that. Mm -hmm, absolutely. And um, a little bit in the beginning of our conversation, you mentioned that the credit union has had a lot of growth recently. So I can only imagine that that growth um, has led you to expand the employment opportunities at the credit union. So what types of positions are you currently hiring for right now? Uh, what we're currently hiring for right now is what we're calling a member expert. Now, this is a new position that we're creating because as we continue to, to um, evolve the credit union into more of a member centric focus, and we call um, our patrons, if you will, members, because they have a stake in the credit union. They're not customers, they're not clients, they're members who treat it like family. But uh, with the advancements of our technology, we went through a lot of technological upgrades over the last year. Um, we're creating a position now where if somebody comes into the credit union or calls into the credit union, this might sound simple, but I don't have to transfer that person to the specialist that needs to take care of their issue. I want it to be a one-stop shop mm -hmm. for a member to call in and have their um, questions answered or their loans filled out or, um, you know, signing up for an IRA or uh, if they have to become a power of attorney, for example, or set up a trust account. I want them to be one stop for everything. And to do that, uh, we've harnessed, you know, the right technology to put that information at people's fingertips. So that's one portion uh, of that job um, that, that we're, we're assembling. The second portion is, second qualification is, um, we want people to understand, um, you know, lending, and we want them to have, if you will, kind of like a, I'm going to call it a salesperson approach where they're not afraid to talk to people, that they're welcoming, that they're willing to start a dialogue, that they're willing to listen and not talk as much. And that's a big key. And uh, I want, I'm looking for people who are energetic. Um, I'm looking for the people who are going to be assertive, who want an opportunity to grow. Um, I'm looking for people who, uh, you know, are, are decent, as decent on a telephone as they are in person. And uh, I want people who, you know, want to work for an organization that's kind of fun. You know, I, I kind of like Jim Belushi when it comes down or John Belushi, um, but also um, want to execute the mission that the credit union has, was, which is people helping people. When I got into this industry 15 years ago and I learned that like one of our main courses is to help people, uh, our, main, our main priority is to help people, I was hooked. I was instantly hooked because it's fun to do that. But um you know, and I'm looking for people who are smart. You know, I'm not going to um, sugarcoat it. I'm, I'm looking for, you know, highly motivated, highly energetic uh, people who, um, you know, uh, want an opportunity and want to grow with it because we're, we are a growing institution. And it's, you know, in, in fin with financial institutions in today's environment, to have somebody come in and say, like, look, I'm expanding. I'm not closing branches. I'm not shutting down services. I'm mm -hmm. growing. And I'm looking for people who want to grow with us. Awesome. I'm sure that that highly motivated, 
want to have fun, but is um, very dedicated and um, serious about their work and what they do, being an expert about what their um, roles and responsibilities are, is a great blend because just knowing um, you for a, a little bit of time uh, since I've been at the chamber, I know you're a lot of fun. So can you tell us a little bit more about the company culture of Net Credit Union and how those, those required attributes of that person would play into that? Oh, sure. Like I, I encourage all my employees to, uh, to become empowered, right? So we've shipped away a lot of the bureaucracy where they have to go through a lot of checks and balances to make, you know, rudimentary decisions. I have some veteran employees who've been with us for over 25 years. And, um, you know, when I got here, they, they weren't so much empowered, but I'm like, hey, you've been here for a long time. You know what the right thing to do is and the wrong thing to do. is. I want you to make your, your decisions based upon three simple items. One, what's best for the member? Two, what's best for the employee? Three, what's best for the credit union? If you make your decisions based upon those three items, 90% of the time, you're going to make the correct decision. And just keeping it simple, you know, the KISS philosophy, just keeping those decision-making items simple really helps empower people to do their job where they can feel rewarded. They, they can feel their veteran status um, to be able to lead and uh, when you develop a group who uh, wants to lead, um, then as, uh, as, as the boss, and I, I don't use that term very often, you know this, Brie, but I don't have to sit there and micromanage and watch somebody. I hate micromanaging. I want people who are empowered to execute their job titles, to take care of our members, because when we take care of our members and when they're happy, guess what? They tell other people, like the Pantene commercial, you know, they'll tell two people, and they'll come in, then they'll tell two people and they'll come in or log in online or, or join online or whatever the case is, but uh, good service spreads, right? Absolutely. And who doesn't want to come to work and, be, and feel empowered and like they have some autonomy throughout their day? And of course, it's never any fun having a manager breathe down your shoulder, watching your every move. So that's really nice to know that that's the type of employment experience they're going to have at Net Credit Union. Yeah, it, it, it's a culture and we're constantly focusing on the culture. How can we adapt and adjust to the ever changing cultural um, social or uh, social status that we're, we're constantly in. Because if, if you don't move and adjust, then you start to become, you know, something of the past. And, and, and our goal is to continue to meet our members' needs, whether it's, you know, a member that's been here uh, for 40 years and just wants a CD and a savings account to the member who just joined us at, uh, you know, in their 20s or teens, and they just want a debit card and, and to learn how to start banking correctly. You know, that, that we, cover, we want to be able to cover those gamuts and give them the tools and the items that they need to succeed in their financial lives. Yeah, and I love how you poised it as, um, you know, the, the spectrum of ages. That seems like a very family-oriented type mindset as well. So I'm sure that probably plays into to Net Credit Union too. Oh, um, without a doubt. I mean, um, we've had members that have, have been with us for over 50 years. I see them every once in a while. And uh, although we've changed a lot of things and, you know, sometimes you change things, you know, you get ribbed a little bit, but, you know, it, in the long, in the long run, you know, people understand why, because if a business doesn't evolve, it dies. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we try to accommodate, um, we try to make our changes that accommodate, you know, the majority of the members, you're never going to make hundred percent of people happy. Um, but just through patient conversation and dialogue, you know, those members can be, uh, you know, you can overcome those objections and, and you can learn too, like, you know, I like watching um, Kitchen Nightmares with Chef Gordon Ramsay, and he always says when he's, uh, you know, when he's in a restaurant, he's like, you know, don't blow smoke up my butt about things you like. Tell me what you don't like so I can fix it. Right. And I, I, I believe enough that 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 uh, that approach it it, it works. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and for that's fantastic for employees to know that they have that space to come to you with those suggestions on how to improve their daily role or just even the credit union in general. And again, it goes back to that thing you said, empowerment, right? They're empowered to do their jobs to the best of their abilities day in and day out. Yeah, I, I think the best thing I can do for my employees is just stay out of the way. I set them up for success. <laughs> let, honestly, I just stay out of the way, you know, and I monitor the results. Right. Bring the results. Bring me what we want to see. 
And, um, you know, this, this whole package that we put together should be moving forward. And uh, knock on wood, you know, for the last eight years, since I'm eight years, I'll be here eight years this year. Last eight years, it, it's, it's done that. So it be, seems to be a working philosophy. Great. So this member um, specialist position, I know you mentioned a, a variety of attributes that a person would need to have to be successful in this type of position. Are you um, requiring any type of educational experience or work experience as well? Yeah, let me let me check my uh, our website here, because if I get it wrong, then, uh, you know, Malise, she'll probably be after me. So requirements are uh, a bachelor bachelor's degree is preferred. Mm -hmm. High school uh, diploma is accepted, uh, two to four years of related experience. So they could work for, have worked for a financial institution somewhere else, you know, understood some underwriting. You know, we could also teach some of those. You know, not everybody that I bring into the credit union has had banking or credit union experience. I really want to emphasize that. They might have had some other tangible experience, which I can draw from. Mm -hmm. Like I can teach the credit union stuff, right? What I can't teach is character. They either got it. Or they don't. I can't teach spark. I can't teach drive. I can't, you know, I can encourage it, but somebody's got to bring that to us. That's what we're looking for. Um, but as far as education requirements, that's what we have. So we prefer a bachelor's degree, high school degree courses accepted, uh, and also experience. If you have relatable or tangible experience, you know, you'll be in consideration. Yeah. And again, that word empowering, that's re those requirements, um, those educational experience that you're um, looking for is also very empowering to, I bet, a lot of career seekers out there, because in today's day and age, it might not be feasible for them to go on to get some type of extended work, um, educational uh, degrees. It might not be feasible for them at this time, but knowing that, um, like you said, if they have the character, if they show the drive, their willingness to learn, they have some of those uh, transferable skills that you're looking for, that they shouldn't be afraid to apply to your job, knowing that um, they don't necessarily have the cookie cutter experience, they can still be considered. Oh, yeah, you know, um, look, it, it never hurts to apply. The worst somebody could say is no, right? Mm -hmm. um, but you know, when it comes to education, I'm, I, I fully believe in supporting that effort. That's why we provide ten thousand dollars a year uh, to our employees for tuition reimbursement. Got to work here for a year to qualify, and so on and so forth. But that's one of the benefits that we have uh, at Net Credit Union. And you know, years ago, decades ago, when I uh, was working at uh, Procter and Gamble, I took advantage of that. I took advantage of P&G's uh, tuition reimbursement. I, I acquired my degree in accounting. And, you know, um, eventually ended up uh, in credit unions and now I'm running one. So I fully believe in, you know, educating my staff uh, and encouraging continual education, because if you're not continually learning things, you're stagnant. Um, I learn something new every day um, and I'll probably do that till, you know, they retire or even pass. But we're always learning, um, always learning something. Right. So that's um, I love that you brought that up. That's a very generous tuition reimbursement benefit of working for Net Credit Union. So what other benefits do you offer um, to your employees? All right. So, we, you know, matching 401k, of course, is one of the items that I'd offer. We match up to uh, 5 percent, like a half a percent for every percent you can you contribute. Um, we have uh, a great uh, medical, dental and vision plan. Uh, you know, our deductible is only 500 bucks for employees, you know, so that's something that uh, is like a unicorn in today's climate, you know, but healthy employees, those who get the regular checkups, the regular physicals, you can avoid a lot of different things, you know, and, and uh, I want to add when you when you care about your employees, they feel empowered, like they feel like they belong, like I don't have any of the says you guys don't care about us, you don't transfer information, whatever, but you know, you care about it. That's, that's why the medical is so strong. Vision and dental, uh, great plans, by the way. I love them. Uh, what other benefits? Uh, uh, we give uh, 10 days, uh, uh, 10 sick days a year, which you can accrue uh, over time. Um, what else am I missing? Uh, life insurance, group life insurance, additional life insurance uh, we provide. Uh, depending upon what your position is, uh, you know, we'll provide some IT equipment that you can take home, work, work from home. That was a big thing last year. Like I, we probably purchased 20 laptops to set up more work from home capabilities, headsets for people in the call center, the loan department. Um, 
I'm probably missing a few other ones, but those are the big ones. You know, if you have any questions, you know, ask me. Mm -hmm. I should have had a list, but you know, I have I have people for that to tell me. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's okay. It's always nice to leave a little mystery to it, you know. Um, right, right. I like a good I like a good mystery. Um, so you invest it's clear that you invest in your members, right? And it's also clear that you invest in your employees. You talked about the importance of that continuing education. You mentioned the um, tuition reimbursement opportunities. So tell me a little bit more about um, the opportunity for advancement within your company. That is really starting to impact our organization now. As we evolve the credit union over the last eight years and getting us up to, uh, you know, what I'm going to say our, our current uh, banking standards has grown our active membership base, has grown our loan portfolio, and is starting to grow the product offerings that we have. For example, today, uh, yesterday, we launched our indirect lending program. It's a whole new program that we brought in the credit union. We still have future plans to um, delve deeper into first mortgage origination, uh, eventually business lending. Uh, eventually bringing in wealth plan, uh, uh, wealth management or uh, retirement planning services, to the credit union. Uh, we're looking at building a new branch. We bought property in Taylor at the old Via Appia, Appia building. So there'll be opportunities for, you know, management opportunities there as well as member expert opportunities. Uh, we, we're just hiring a, a supervisor for a call center and going to further develop personnel into the call center so that, uh, you know, we can run uh, a more effective call center. Since we are seeing our call volumes go up as we continue to grow, we're going to need to meet those demands. Um, I'm considering looking at the Oak Street property, which is behind Kentucky Fried Chicken on Kaiser Avenue, and remodeling that building to create like a, a complete back office administrative side where we can handle all the electronic items we're looking at bringing our credit card program in house which is going to require us to have uh, a deeper concentration of credit card specialists and even eventually a card program manager so uh we're, we're at we're at some exciting times now we're that eight years of inertia that the chamber has been with with that credit union or with me i mean they've been with that credit union for a lot longer but that, those eight years of inertia are really starting to mount themselves now where we can begin to branch out and further, uh, you know, further enhance or add services to the credit union. And what does that mean for the job seeker? Future opportunity. We've already, uh, this year we promoted one, two, three people internally into management positions. And now we need to backfill underneath them as we continue to grow. So in a time when there's, the, there's some social economical challenges, mm -hmm. we're growing and we're hiring. That's really great because, um, you know, as you talk about all of those different types of opportunities, when I, prior to knowing you, you know, when I a credit union, the jobs in a credit union, of course you think teller, of course you think loan officer, um, but I never would have even thought as a job seeker that maybe I could start off in an entry level position at net credit union and work my way up to something like an IT person um, using that tuition reimbursement or um, a manager. There's so many different opportunities that I would never even imagine exist within a credit union. Yeah, and you know what, exactly right. And my life has all been, always been about being a maverick, right? I was kind of the, the bull that just broke away from the pack, you know? And like, you know, I had to learn my lessons as I, as I grew, but education is one thing. And as some people always leave that as a bear, like I'm not the proper education. If you have the proper qualities uh, as a person, uh, yeah, you know, I get a chance to see through that when I sit and talk to people. Um, there's more than just what's left on a piece of paper. I look for people of how I want them to respond to our members. Uh, I look for character. The character is very, very important. And it's not something that comes by accident. It comes from development over time. And when you, when you hire people with good character, you can empower them and not have to focus and watch on them because you know they're going to do the right thing. And that's that's ultimately what I'm looking for. People got to do the right thing for the member, for the credit union, and for our employee base. And when you find that right group, boy, is it fun to, to be able just to sit back and be like the chef of a big restaurant, just watch everybody working and the pots are cooking, but I don't have to go around and taste every one. I know that product is going to come out right. Mm -hmm. 
So, so far I have learned just speaking with you that net credit union, if I am an employee um, of net credit union that I know I'm going to work in a place that values integrity, um, investment in both employees and members, um, that's fun, warm, friendly. So if I'm a job seeker listening to this call, hey, I don't have any reason at this point why I don't want to work for net credit union. You know, I know that my next thought is how do I apply and what can I expect? So where should anybody who's interested go to apply for your positions? Yeah, you can go to our website. Um, there's there's several different places. Like we have a career spot on the website. Mm -hmm. uh, just, just look under about credit union or type in careers at net credit union. Uh, there's info at net credit union. I think there's another one, uh, uh, email link of jobs at net credit union. Uh, dot com. You could always call the credit union. We have our numbers listed and ask to be transferred to HR and ask somebody like, hey, how do I submit a resume? What do I do? Uh, mm -hmm. Amy is our uh, HR administrator. She's more than happy to take your calls and, and field your resumes. Um, where else? And the last ditch result on the main page of the website, there's this little thing called Clarence Cares where anybody can email me. You can always contact me and see if you can get pointed in the right direction. I'll, you know, I'll, I'll direct uh, the email to HR. So uh, many different ways to contact the credit union. Um, yeah, I guess I'd answer that question. I can't think of another one. <laughs> right, absolutely. Okay, so all of those different touch points to apply, they can just simply Google careers at Net Credit Union. They can go onto your website, um, find that clearance care section. They can call and ask for Amy in HR. Um, so after their application is submitted, what is the app, what is the interview process like? Is it virtual now? Is it over the phone? Is it in person? Typically, the first one is done uh, over the phone. That, that it, it, a phone interview uh, really do, really helps us understand, you know, how can somebody talk on the telephone? Are they good or are they bad? You know, and it's just like really the first way. And then depending upon the, the position, there could be a second or a third interview. Uh, typically, they're done, done in person. Um, I do believe in meeting somebody face to face. If their job is going to, well, I believe in meeting somebody face to face, even if it's six feet away with a mask on, I don't care. Um, but I, I do believe in meeting somebody face to face uh, to see, um, you know, how how do they how do they meet somebody in, in a personal space? Because in this job, especially the job that we're looking for, you're going to meet with members. So I don't know how you act, and um, you know, we'll conduct the interview like uh, on that basis. Um, depending upon how many applicants, there could be a third. Uh, interview where we narrow the field down and and so forth. So, but it, it all depends on, you know, what we what we field. Mm -hmm. Right, of course. So you mentioned um, meeting somebody face to face, six feet apart, mask on. I know that's always the elephant in the room nowadays is the COVID nineteen pandemic, and a lot of individuals might feel apprehensive about coming to work or feeling safe at work because, you know, they just cannot afford to get sick. They cannot afford to get sick and possibly bring it home to somebody that they're living with or taking care of at home. So what has Net Credit Union done to keep all of their employees safe? Uh, I, there, there's a list. I mean, going back throughout the year, I mean, when this pandemic first hit, we split our teams into two separate teams kind of like uh, the blue and the gold team of ballistic missile submarines. You know, one team went into work, one team stayed home. We split it right down the middle for both branches so that if one team got sick or if somebody on that team got sick, the other team can come in and fill in until those issues clear. And they alternated every week. So, you know, one week, one team was working. The other week, the, other, the, the same week, the other team was home. And uh, we paid our employees. We paid them to stay home and stay healthy uh, until we got further clarification of what, the, you know, the beginning of the pandemic, everybody was just totally scared and i have to admit it i was the same way i'm like i don't know what this thing's going to do but we got to take precaution now and we put our employees and our members health and safety first um we also like i identified before we identified several positions that we can create work from home situations for and uh, allow them to, to to work from home um social distancing um we have um you know, put up plexiglass barriers, uh, especially around in the teller area. Um, and we do require people to wear a mask. And we also encourage people 
that if you come into contact with somebody who may have been infected or had the virus, or you think you have, please let us know. You know, we're not gonna penalize you for it, uh, but we wanna keep everybody protected. And of course, abiding by, you know, all the CARES Act uh, items, we, we have had people who, um, who had tested positive, not inside the gradient, but outside, you know, and we, we paid them the, the CARES Act program for them to stay home. And uh, if they needed to take vacation or personal time to augment the, uh, the days off, uh, we do a deep clean throughout the credit union once a month. Um, we have rotating shifts right now of different employees who clean daily um, uh, in the credit union. So anytime you walk in, it kind of smells like a hospital because there's, there's bleach being applied. Uh, you know, I can't tell you how much hand sanitizer, how many masks we've purchased, uh, purchased but, you know, we, we have also handed out customized masks uh, to our employees. So, you know, you'll see me walking around like this, my little net label on it. Um, and we've, ha we've also handled, you know, individual cases on a case by case basis with the understanding that this, this is no, this is no joke that we're dealing with. I mean, I've had friends who've had it and were hospitalized. So we take the utmost care. We actually put together a COVID-19 response team. Um, I actually have one of the ladies on the team walks around with a tape measure that's six feet apart. You know, it's kind of like the eighth grade dance. She's like, you need to be you know, further apart, you know, and it sounds kind of funny, but then again, it's, it's like reinforcing, um, you know, the need to be diligent uh, until this terrible thing is over. So we took it very seriously. Uh, even closing branches for a couple of months while, you know, when case counts swooned. Matter of fact, we've been, we were closed from uh, the day after Thanksgiving last year and actually reopened our doors March 1st and just worked through the drive through And, um, you know, the, the, the credit is still continuing to grow. I mean, our drive through lines got a little bit longer, but, you know, the adoption of our technology really took hold there as well. And we were able to assist members. So it was a, it, it, it was we made, we made, you know, lemonade out of some of the lemons that we dealt. Mm -hmm. And I think that's also part of just who Net Credit Union is, right? You take something very seriously, but you add that little element of humor or, um, like you said, a little bit of lemon lemonade to your lemons there. That's great. Yeah. Uh, again, it's just doing the right thing. Well, it's right for the credit union, what's right for the employee, what's right for the member. Of course, of course. So before we wrap this up, I have to ask, you know, why should a job seeker choose to work for Net Credit Union? What is the thing unique about working for your company that might be, um, you know, that cherry on top that really gets them to say, hey, I'm going to apply for this job at Net Credit Union? Simply because we're awesome. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> you are awesome, Clarence. <laughs> You know, we're, we're still considered a small business. We're under 50 employees currently. You know, when you work for a small business, there's more of an atmosphere uh, than I've worked for Fortune 500 companies before. And, and not that there's anything wrong with them, but, you know, those environments, can, you kind of get lost in a shuffle. And growing with a small business, there's always something new and exciting that's coming on. Um, you know, we're swifter to act. And, and actually, at the size that we're at right now, we're, we're doing a number of projects to set us up to grow so that when we do get bigger, we've already accomplished some of those challenges that you go through with growth pains. So, um, you know, it, it becomes a, a fun and exciting uh, place to work. It doesn't mean that we do things, and you know, I, you know, I, I might be kind of a jokester, but when it comes to numbers and financials, we are sound. And we receive good ratings uh, from all of our audits that we have. Uh, we have a good internal audit structure, um, definitely a sound business to be in. Uh, plenty of capital to work with and, um, you know, an approach that uh, I've been in credit. I've been in credit unions for 15 years and, um, you know, I didn't start out in credit unions. I just ended up here and I, I'm telling you, I don't look anywhere else. It's a great environment to be in and it's what we make of it. It's what you as a job seeker makes of it. You want an opportunity to grow. You want an opportunity to learn something. I support that, you know, because if you don't support your employees, if you don't take care of your employees, they don't take care of the members. And when you don't take care of the members, they tell other people. And, you know, good news like travels okay, bad news travels really fast. We want the good news of travel. If it takes time, it takes time. But you take care of your employees, they take care of the members. It sounds, it sounds simple, but some, some 
you know, larger places kind of lose sight of that. They just focus on the bottom line. Mm-hmm. Focus on your employees, focus on your members. The bottom line will take care of itself. Right. Right. That answer could not have been more perfect and in line with everything that we talked about today. Um, That is just awesome. It's an awesome place to work. Simple, fun, full of integrity, um, giving back, philanthropy, um, investment in you as an employee, investment in members. Um, You know, you're going to wake up, come to work and love what you do every day. Yeah, every day. And like I said, it's been 15 years in this industry and and I don't wake up saying like, I don't want to go to work. It's like, Hey, what are we going to do today? You know, what are we going to find today? And, uh, you know, knock on wood, uh, surrounding, you know, I surround, I like to surround myself with people that are smarter than me. Um, because at the end, at the end of this whole thing, they make the whole place look good. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Everybody knows something that you don't. And it's great when, um, you have the ability to express that and your employer really trusts your skills, your abilities, the knowledge that you have and recognizes that there's something unique about you that you bring to the table that nobody else does. Yeah, you know, and I'll admit it as the as the president and CEO, sometimes I'll say like, yeah, I don't know, let's find out. <laughs> you know, instead of, hey, why not? You know, if you don't know, don't know, don't BS, you know? Um, right. Somebody can get, uh, you know, turned off if you, if you give them a line of uh, malarkey. No malarkey. <laughs> yes, no malarkey zone at Net Credit Union. <laughs> So Clarence, is there anything else you'd like to tell job seekers or any can, uh, potential candidates watching? Yeah, if you if you think you uh, want to become a part of this team, uh, we have two positions open right now for member expert. Um, I definitely uh, would prefer somebody with uh, who understands the lending process, um, who understands how to talk to people, how to listen to people, which is even more important. Um, who's energetic, um, look for smart people, you know, like I said, I surround myself with smart people. Um, you know, of course, everybody wants to work with a place that has an open door policy. Um, but I'm, I'm, I'm looking for somebody who wants to embody that. I want to help people out. I want to help people, you know, improve their financial lives. And that's something we've done here. Um, you know, for the past several years is really focused on helping people improve their financial lives. Um, I, you know, I'm looking for good character. I'm looking for good work ethic. Um, and, um, I'm looking for people who, you know, want to become part of a kind of a social team that we have here. And I'm going to tell you, we're busy. So, you know, if you're afraid of work, don't apply because we're, we're busy and we got projects and we got, you know, neat things going on. Um, but, uh, yeah, if you, uh, if you want to try us and see how it is, don't apply. I'm looking for those people who, uh, who, who really want a career. Um, not just a job. It's not just a job. It's an adventure. Yeah. <laughs> Huzzah. <laughs> awesome. Looking for those determined go-getters out there. All right. Well, thank you so much, everybody, for tuning in to uh, listen in on this conversation with Clarence and I. Um, I hope you all really enjoyed it. Um, Clarence, again, thank you so much for taking this time out of your day uh, to be here and tell everybody about NET and uh, this awesome little hidden hidden gem on the corner of Mulberry there. So um, I hope you have a great rest of your day, everybody, and enjoy St. Patrick's Day. Thank you, Bree, and uh, thanks for the opportunity. Absolutely. Have a great one. You too. Bye. Bye Bye-bye.